Hello YouTube, this is Keith Kevin Ken. How you doing? How you doing? I hope you're doing well. It's time again for another knife of the day. This is the series where we go through my collection one knife at a time, one day at a time. And boy, we have a lot of knives to get through. Before I talk about this wonderful knife that I have in my hands, I'm hoping, I don't, I'm not only hoping, I know that probably the first part of next week, I'm recording this, I don't know, what is the date? The February 10th or 9th of um, 2018. As I'm recording this, I should get four Spyderco knives, brand new, and I'm excited about the knives, so we'll talk about those when they come, but that's coming up. Uh, also, uh, Monday through Friday, we do the knife of the day, and then over the weekend, I'm going to grab one of my sub kind of collections. I've done the paramilitary twos, I've done the natives, I've done the Mannix twos, and we'll do some more knives later on this uh, weekend. But today, the knife of the day is the Chris Reeve Sabenza 25 with ladder Damascus. And oh, I love this with the handle <laughs> sketched into the polished titanium. And um, these come in a different varieties. But what I did, I got one uh, 25, Sabenza 25, one large uh, Sabenza 21 with different Damascus and then I had to get for the small Sabenza, um, Sabenza 21s I got the ladder Damascus, the basket weave Damascus and the raindrop Damascus all like this I think they have them with just the Damascus blade and then just the polished titanium without the carving um, in the scales but I have to tell you I love this and I matched them up so you can see <laughs> first of all the Sabenza 25 as you guys probably know if you don't um, the Chris Reeve Knives Company has discontinued the Sabenza 25 they now have the large in Kosi and the small in Kosi they never had a small Sabenza 25 um, they had a large and small Sabenza 21, but only just a large 25. The Nkosi looks exactly at first sight like a Sabenza 25. There's a difference in the pivot. There's larger um, washers in there. Um, and here's how you can tell. If someone hands you a Sabenza 25 and they say, hey, this is a large Nkosi, just turn it over. If the clip is parallel to the lock, to the frame lock, it is a Sabenza 25. All of the Encosis, large and small, the clip is on a diagonal off of the lock bar, and that's how you can quickly tell. I don't have a large Encosi. I have a bunch of Sabenza 25s, and we'll go through them as we go through this collection. But this is a fancy piece. This has Ladder Damascus, Devin Thomas Ladder Damascus, which is so nice. All these layers of stainless steel stacked up into this ladder design is just wonderful. On this big blade, clip point blade, hollow ground, Devin Th Thomas, Ladder Damascus, and then, of course, on the handle, only on the show side, we get Ladder Damascus carved into the scales. The blade, 3.6 inches. The total knife is 8.4 inches. And the weight is 5.2 ounces. It's pretty much what you should see every time I pull out a Sabenza 25. Of course, the difference is, is the Damascus blade. And of course, 
on the handle, on the show side, carved Damascus on polished titanium. Now, a couple of things about this handle that you won't see in a lot of other Sabenzas that you'll, you'll see on this channel and you'll see elsewhere. A couple of things. First, in all of the Sabenza inlays, um, except for one, in all of the inlays from uh, Chris Reeve, you have the inlays, two inlays on the front, one on the back, Polished titanium on the front, polished titanium here, here, everywhere, but the lock and the clip, okay? The Micarta inlay doesn't have polished titanium. Yeah, it's just on the regular tie, and it's two and one in the back. This one only has the polished titanium on the front with the carving, and nothing polished on what I call the work side, the lock side of the handle. The one thing, I love these knives, by the way. That's why I have five of them. Uh, a Sabenza 25 that you're looking at, a large 21, and then three small 21s. And you'll see all of them. The one thing I don't like about it is this polished titanium is different than the others. When I say that, people always say something weird to me in comments like, I don't think so. Don't but it just gets gummed up a lot more than the other polished titanium. Easier. The other polished titanium seems, you know, you just wipe it off and you, you shine it up. This is a little bit different. But other than that, isn't it a pretty knife? It makes a big, hard-working knife because all of the aspects of a regular Sabenza 25 is there. It's just got the fancy titanium on the uh, titanium. What am I talking about? Fancy titanium etching on the show side with the polished titanium. And of course, Devin Thomas Damascus, ladder Damascus on the blade. Just a real nice knife. The knife of the day, oh, it's fancy. I know, it's fancy. It's the Sabenza 25 with the ladder Damascus blade and the ladder Damascus carving on the show side as well. Just want to give you a little look at the comparison. Small Sabenza 21, large Sabenza 21. And there you have it. That's the knife of the day. Hope you guys are having a good time. Hope you're enjoying this series. If you are, don't forget to thumb it up. That just keeps me going. Also, subscribe. Um, I don't know. Less than 30% of the people who watch these actually subscribe. Subscribe. It just helps me. It really does. Turn on your notifications. Once you subscribe, there's a little bell. Hit it. That way you won't miss all the special ones. You won't miss all of the new Sabenzas uh, videos next week. And you won't miss whatever video I do this weekend <laughs> with a bunch of knives. Hey, thank you for giving me so much of your time. I really appreciate it. Take a couple of minutes away from social media. I tell you guys, to, and that reminds me to do the exact same thing. Spend some time with yourselves. Ah, just makes you feel a lot healthier. Sometimes it's not an easy thing. Healthier you makes you a better father, brother, husband, friend. You guys have a great one. Keep those pockets full. Goodbye.